listen up. <laughs> Here we go. How did the Omo City Don freestyle happen and then how did that become this such a defining moment? Like you that's the national anthem in Houston, I, man. It's yeah, crazy. It is, and then like people in Houston be down on me because I don't like the fucking song. Yeah, really? Yeah, you didn't intend I've, to. I've, right? yeah. I've never liked the song because I'm a cat that's I love subject matter. Mm-hmm. I love to be cognitive, I love to be deep. And this shit was just me just Routine. making word rhyme. Mm. It was really like it go back to screw tapes, but you know it was me. You know I ain't gonna lie, you know me and dude ain't cool no more. But I'm at Trey House and uh, I, I think we had something to do. I think I had to go actually turn myself in or some shit the next day, and I wanted to get out and you know go get fucked up, go find me some bitches or something, mm. and, you know deplete myself and then turn myself <laughs> in. Deplete myself. Yeah, you know, just putting it yeah. nicely, you yeah. know. Uh, so he's like, actually we're doing a, my first mixtape, Gangster Five. You know, all freestyles on it. But like all the rest of them shits had hooks. Yeah. You know. Style. Yeah. So then he was like, we need one more. I like, find a beat. Then this shit came on, just iri, iri, iri. And it was like, the Eric B and Rakim paid in full B, mm-hmm. but with some extra shit to it. And I like, yeah. that kind of sound like paid in full. I'm like, man, I'm high as fuck. <laughs> this shit too fast for me. Go to some slow shit. He like, nigga, this shit is full of slow shit. I'm like, all right, play it. So he had a mixtape series back in the gap called Slow Loud and Bangin'. So that was the first thing on my mind, so I just started off with that. Slowed out and banging out in my all in my trunk, trunk full of funk. I ain't never been a punk. And it's like I'm listening as I'm rapping, I'm like, I am tripping. Hmm. I blow on skunk, I blow on doja, military mind that I'm a motherfucking soldier. And I guess by whatever it is, six minutes later or some shit. <laughs> all the way to the end. Right. Yeah, and it's like I'm like, that's cool, he. Yeah, that's cool. I immediately go to jail. And when I come <laughs> the fuck back home, I'm doing a show. So I don't even put this shit on my show CD. The DJ drops it. And the whole club is like, as soon as that bitch, they're like, oh! And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, y'all like this shit? Wow. So then as I do it on stage, I'm looking, people like, they ugly than a motherfucker. Like, you know, you jamming when you get ugly, man. You and that they bitch, and you just, you just, they just lost in it. Like, like looking like looking like an alligator garfish in that motherfucker. Just <laughs> you, you jamming, bro. Right, like you jamming. And I'm like, damn, that bitch. They just, you know, I blow on sky blow, and I get to that. I'm come so slow. It'll be the nigga in the damn. And they ain't that yeah, bitch. I'm talking man. about moving their hips and their shoulders to that shit. Wow. And I'm like, wow. And then the shit was so. It took over me to where. It fucked me up. Mm. It fucked me like it really fucked me up at the uh, hip hop for HIV show, in 2008. Like, Plies was supposed to be the headliner, but as some of my people do, right. I was late as fuck. Mm. So Plies had to go on, and I'm like, shit. When this nigga Plies walk out stage, everybody's leaving out of here with him. Mm. It was 37,000 people in the dome. Wow. When he walked off stage, you, you just heard motherfuckers just, zero, zero. And I'm like, man, get the fuck out of here, <laughs> man. They playing. Like, that, that shit must be on a motherfucking prompter somewhere making these motherfuckers say it. Right. And, like, this is the first time I had met Sway. Oh, wow. Hmm. And this dude was over there, like, he was packing up, getting on the MTV bus, finna leave. Mm. Then he turned around like, man, who the fuck is this nigga that they waiting on? <laughs> <laughs> and that was exactly his sentiment, like, who the fuck is this? Mm. And you know, the radio station, like, I, I seen their chits come out like, shit, <laughs> a zero. <laughs> I'm scared. Wow. 37 thousand. I walk out on stage, that motherfucker song came on, I started rapping it. Bro, when you hear 37,000 motherfuckers 
saying some shit right. that you said at the tone and the motherfucking intensity that they were saying that shit. Mm-hmm. Especially when I got to that part, crooked officer, yeah, crooked right. off. Mm-hmm. I stopped and held the mic out. They just make a nigga want to blow the badge off. Man, that shit made, made man, okay, the chill bumps. And right. I was like, I forgot the rest of the fucking shit. <laughs> they, at carried that you, moment. they carried you, yeah. Right. And they cut the fucking music. Mm. And these motherfuckers sung the whole rest of the three fucking minutes. Wow. I'm looking, I ain't gonna lie, man. A, you know, thug tip. Yeah, thug tip. Man, I was fucked up. I had my big glasses on, so ain't nobody really catch it. <laughs> but I was like, "Oh my god, bro!" That's but still, up. but still, you could drop it now. Like, what do you think the staying power is? Like, that's a great moment. But that's it now is. we're in 2016. It's and still that do that. Still retarded, still. man. Mm-hmm. And it really, it really fucked me up when Drake does that shit at his show. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I'm like, it was like a re get the fuck out of here moment. A re get the fuck out of here moment. Like. <laughs> This nigga Drake doing my shit, right? And he said some shit like, "Yeah, yeah, I gotta understand. I'm from Canada, and that song influenced me to do this song." And mm-hmm. I was like, "Then the November 18th shit came on. I was like, re get the fuck out of here.'" <laughs> then he comes back, does that shit again at the Verizon Center. He like, "Bro, come out and do this motherfucker." Wow, like, oh, man. Re get the fuck out of here! Yeah. Right, you just saw him recently, right? Uh, over the holiday, right? A pool party or something? Yeah, yeah, I went to the pool party and shit. With J- it was J- Jazz Prince, I guess, right? I ain't see Jazz. I saw oh. I saw uh, uh, old man Jay. Oh, yeah. he was in that motherfucker. And uh, but you embrace Drake's like some people being critical of Drake's embracement of the Houston scene and the weekends I mean, and stuff. I think it's I you know everybody gonna have something to say about anything because lips do that, <laughs> and uh. I look at it like this, man. It's kind of like that shit actually brings some more money to the city. Because, mm. I mean, it's not a secret. You know, Houston used to be cracking like a motherfucker right. on, the, on the hip-hop scene. And then some strange odd reasons, that shit just dissipated. Mm. So when Drake came back, it started putting attention. Well, when he came, sorry, it put another... Not a microscope, he put a telescope on the city again. Mm. And it's like, especially, you know, we're doing certain people's songs, you know, putting other people on songs. Right. That shit was extending careers, yeah. making motherfuckers so money able to increase. Right. You know, it's, it's you know. It's a trickle down effect. Yeah, right. it's, it's like that stimulus package Obama <laughs> was talking about. It was, it was, the, it was the, Drake right. Bomber, the Drake Bomber package. And, right. I like it That's and dope. I love the shit and for a motherfucker to be on the level that he's on to even embrace anything like how he, uh, you know a, a, a pop star can do mm-hmm. I'm glad it's my city right. I, don't really, I don't really give a fuck what nobody else think you know what I'm saying but and I still today I don't have no song with him mm. you know what I'm saying but every time like I seen him at the pool party it's kind of like shit Hey man, my guy. It's like shit, and you can tell that shit is genuine, right? Because I mean, you see the you're like, oh shit, oh, oh you again? <laughs> but, <laughs> but then, the rapper politics, right? Yeah, like yeah, oh yeah, yeah it, the, 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 how, how you doing? The little pinky shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but with him, he it's like genuine. Man, man, pull you genuine. in, right? My guy, it's, it's a pull in, and I'm like, you know, that's dope. It's only a matter of time. <laughs> <laughs>